Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. CCX here. Welcome back to more Chrono Cross. In the last episode, we end up going deeper to Terra Tower, getting some information of who the sixth, the seventh dragon was, even though I already told you who it was already from the get go. And now we have fought five out of the six Omega elements. And now it is time to fight the last element, the blue one. Because we fought yellow, we fought green, we fought red. And we have fought black and white. And now it's time to fight the blue one. I don't know why they made this one last. Maybe the game kind of screwed up and they probably didn't really... Didn't care. Disrespecting the origin of life. Mother C suffers. You must pay the price. We didn't even do anything. Man, you guys are just blaming us for everything now. I mean, yes, us humans do screw up a lot. But there are some... Wow, you just look like the same recolor as the last one. Say hello to Aquatar, Aquator, whatever. He's a, he's a fun guy. He's going to make himself be able to evade us. There's the element, Vigora. Vigora. By the way, I missed that ability because I'm an idiot. What I mean is, is that I missed it only because of the fact that I wasn't really expecting that each each of them ends up having like different um wow you know what i love how your invasion has been increased but you still suck balls and <laughs> you can still get hit but anyways i wasn't expecting their um i think i uh, i'm trying to get my words i wasn't expecting one of them to drop it so i completely miss vigora guys i'm sorry that's basically the element that allows you to have sort of infinite stamina yeah, she's dead. Wow, you really wanted her dead. Alright. Alright. Looks like we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix that. I don't wanna use full revival. That's kinda that's kinda overkill. Also, I need to go ahead and get that other No, we only got two revives. I'm redundant to have revived twice for you, huh? Nah, we'll be fine. Okay, get your revenge, please. I mean, seriously, get your revenge. Shoot the hell out of this guy. I think I shot twice. I don't know why, but I think it shot twice. And really? You wasted your Omega on Surge? Boy, you're an idiot. <laughs> you know what that means, right? <laughs> Time to die. If I can hit you. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you guys expecting him to die like a liquid? No. He died like ice. I mean, did you see what his Omega move was? It was ice. Not thing. Eh, whatever. <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, that's the last of all the elements. Oh, um, my mistake. That's your hint of what the colors you're supposed to do. That's your second hint. Why I thought the crystals were the second hint? I don't know. I, I, th I think I just assumed that the crystals were going to be your second hint because of reasons. All right, guys. We have fought everything. It's now time to fight the final boss of this game. And don't worry. There is a save point. Thank God. I think there is a save point. Maybe there isn't. Nah, we should be fine. Alright. He's 
doors open for thee. Okay, so there is no save point. Nah, we should be fine. If I die here, then I'll just cut back to when I'm fighting the boss again. Alright, so this boss has like a particular ability. This final boss has like a particular move that can kind of do a lot of damage to you. And I, I'm going to say this now. It varies. And what I mean by it varies, meaning it varies if it hurts you, it varies if it doesn't. I don't know the implication of how it does not defeat, how it does not hurt you. But I like to think that if the transition, if the entire field is of that specific color, it will probably do damage to you. But I think if he changes the field manually, it will hurt you. But if he changes the field, um, if he changes the field when his AI is programmed to, it probably won't do that much. It probably won't do any damage. Don't take my word for it. All I know is that people have different thoughts on how this guy works. I have no idea how his attacks work in terms. Uh, I don't know how that one attack um, will affect you, but whatever. Also, apparently our polygon count increased. I should say decreased. Now we actually like 3D models. You know, we always like 3D models, but you know what I mean. Welcome, humans. Those who know the torment and joy of creation know also the pleasure of pain and destruction. Therefore, all the past through here must be prepared to share the harden. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a douche. Time for the final battle of the game, guys. There it is! The frozen flame! So this is the true frozen flame. Hold on, don't touch it. Yep, too late. Is everyone okay? What the hell happened? Us humans ain't gonna let you have your way any longer. Come on, show your bloody self. In order to survive, all living things in this world fight desperately and devour those they defeat. Must one kill other living things in order to survive? Must one destroy another world in order to allow one's own world to continue? The wounded in turn wound and torment those weaker than they themselves are. There are only the killers and kill the sinners who are judged and the victims that do the judging. With meaning is there to such a world. Whether there's meaning to our lives or not, we still go on living, you know. You've got no right to deny that. I shall claim this blue planet of your filthy humans once and for all. And time for the final battle of the game. Introducing the Time Devourer. Now, the Time Devourer has very wonderful, lovely attacks, I might say. And some of them can be a little bit deadly to survive through, and some of them can be a bit of a headache, but I will say this it's not that hard. In fact, he's actually quite easy.
But I will say this. <laughs> uh, you can't harm me. I'm a light innate enemy. Now you guys are also wondering what I mean by one of, what one of his attacks can do some damage to you. There is one specific attack that can actually really hurt you and you want to really be prepared and heal accordingly when that happens because it could be a little bit of a pain to survive through. Oh, we got holy healing again. Wow. No, you, you guys are you guys are right. Keep just giving us all them holy healings. I want to go ahead and save that heal all just in case I take damage from this attack. I mean, he's not doing it now, thank God, but, you know, you never know, just in case. After you've done enough damage to him, he will transcend. He will use his time powers and warp you into another dimension. Long story short, he's going to warp you to where you fought the dragons. All right. It's supposed to sometimes do zero, but it really depends. Now, here's something that I want to tell you. The, this is your third hit. You notice that he changed it to yellow? Keep that in mind, because if you don't, you will have a difficult time in defeating the final boss. Yeah, spoiler alert, this is actually not the final boss. I lied. <laughs> this is not the final boss. He's actually more so called the Dragon God, but the game ends up saying that his name is the Time Devourer. Yes, he has the same ability as such, but this is not the final boss of the game. Spoilers! As you see, he changed, right? Also, right? The transitions to, just in case, the next one shall be red. There's the zero. That's what I was looking for. All right. Alright, so we need to start spamming freaking blue innate abilities, which we don't have, so this should be fun. <laughs> like I said, this boss fight is not hard in the slightest, which is why none of the bosses are hard. He's only indicated of being the final boss only because of the fact of what he can do, per se. And you notice the reason as to why I'm not using my white innate abilities? Because what do you think the last two warps are going to be? Duh. I'm saving them so we can transcend out of it. Magma bomb. Really? That's all you got? Oh, okay, now you're just, okay, now you're just doing a lot of fun, fancy moves. Sadly, however, his movement is a bit slow, so it kind of takes him a while to charge up attacks. All right, Ice Lance might actually do some damage to her. Come on, stop attacking. Why all of a sudden you're doing elements? Go back to slapping us in the face. Wow, you hit the wrong. You are an. God damn. Someone who's not really in tune with his freaking elemental grids, he sure is hard to hit. I guess he has a high evasion, but that doesn't really matter. Alright, that's right. Depending on what he is, he does heal. See, that's the reason why I did not hurt any of those Omega guys with any of these abilities. Because I knew there was something that they do if they're in their Pacific um, Elemental area. Anyways, can we please get out of this place, please? I just wasted red el I just wasted a red element on that. So now it's gonna be a problematic when he ships to the water island. The water dragon. Unless the next one is um green. Yeah, it's green. Alright, my bad. So yeah, like I said before, most people get hit by that, most people don't. It really all depends. We are gonna have to change the elemental and el anyways, because even though it's green. Crashes summon is not gonna do anything. It's just gonna heal him or annoy him. <laughs> also, since we have the Chrono Cross, we can use that to restore our elementals. So take that. Take that what you will. Alright. 
Crash, please don't miss, dude. Thank you. Can just heal us back to full? Ah. Holy healing. The best kind of healing. <laughs> But as I said before, I do like the music though. The music is fantastic. Which is kind of the reason as to why people thought that this was the final boss of this game. But he's not. He's not the final boss at all. He's the second to final boss. But don't get me wrong, he is still tough. Now it's more. I also heard that if you actually probably do- No, I don't think you can do enough damage to even warrant him to skip the element area. It's funny how the first one did damage to us, but the second one doesn't do jack crap to us anymore. Oh, funny. Alright. Uh, now let's cast our tornado, shall we? Come on, Dragon God. You guys want to get revenge on us, but you guys are not really doing a good job of it. Oh, for a second, I thought he was dead. I was like, oops. <laughs> After blue, it's white. So we're going to the white dragon. No, wait. No, white is last. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I keep forgetting that. Oh, but you screwed now. <laughs> ah, I've been saving this for you when you shift to this area. <laughs> Why did I thought shifting to the <laughs> black element was a smart idea? Also, he has to do this just to teach you how to, f um, well, he's not really teaching you. He's just, he's just doing this because, like I said, he's the Dragon God. He's gonna shift to the elements specifically for him. I mean, he's gonna shift to the, he's essentially gonna go through all of the dragon areas. The last one will be the, the the one that will be the hardest for me to do is probably the white one, so eh, it's probably when the fight gets a little bit tough. Just slightly, not too tough, just a little bit. This might hurt me because it's probably still on the grid. And we just come right back. Yeah, so essentially he was already in the white innate already. But this is actually where he's gonna die. Uh, hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to Ultra Nova because like I said before, I don't know if it will heal him and I don't trust it. I don't feel like killing him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn! Alright, you know what? Now we can use Holy Healing. <laughs> it's like, now we can use Holy Healing. I was just giving myself a, I needed a reason to use Holy Healing. He didn't really give me much of a reason. And now he did. Alright, Crush, you're up next. Back of his big old lip. I could restore everybody's elements by just using the Chrono Cross. And the thing is, the Chrono Cross is also infinite. Hence the reason why they don't let you keep it. Because <laughs> it's infinite use element. Because it restores all elements. Oh, you're dead. And you get no victory music for that. That's how you... Well, you see, that's how they can fool you that he's the final boss. But he's not.
Now I shall truly awaken again. This too is destiny. Okay, well, I can lie. He technically is still the final boss, but now he's... And there he goes. That thing, the Dragon God, is only a quizzed existence. A temporary form that the real Dragon God uses in order to appear within this dimension. The actual Dragon God was consumed long ago in a distant past, integrated by the entity known as Lavos in a time on the other side of dimensional darkness. The frozen flame is a splinter from the extraterrestrial being, Lavos. The one who connects with the frozen flame and affects links with Lavos itself. As the mediator between Lavos and the living things, that one will gain extraordinary powers by binding with the new seed of destruction, the Devourer of Time. One who blazes is the Devourer of Time. Now go to the place where time became divided and weave the threads of time together again, Chrono Trigger. The Devourer of Time is a new life form. Born out of the fusion of the life form from this planet with the Larvos who nests on the far side of the dimensional void. In the far off future, when the fusion becomes complete, it will awaken. Then the Devourer of Time will begin to consume all space and time continua. Despair and hatred to return all things to nothingness. That is what it desires. Here, take this with you. And this time egg is another item that will come with us at the end of the game as well. The time egg will enable you to travel beyond space and time. The world is in your hands. Go, release the life that is imprisoned. Life? And that's it, guys. That's it for Terrace Tower. so beautiful and destructive <laughs> oh man so that's Terrace Tower's final true form in the end we're all the same everyone's dreams of being greater more powerful we've come this far all that remains is defeat the time devourer I mean the devourer of time damn once we wipe the devourer of time off the face of this planet it's all over hopefully everything will go back to normal again you're wrong things won't ever go back to won't go back to the way they were destiny fate is dead from now on us humans have to choose our own way of life we also have to take responsibility for the choices we do make and something's got to be done about the way we got we go on hurting and killing one another we got to settle our differences once and for all listen what's really important is what we do now the issue ain't we whether we defeat that bastard or not i'm afraid that depending on how we go about it we could lose out on gaining something real precious. So the issue is the way we fight. 
So where on earth is the real devourer of time? My guess is the key you find it lies at that beach. That's where this whole thing started. It's also probably where this whole thing will end. And Kid is not wrong. The final, the final true boss is in the same area where all of this crap happens. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, join me for the final episode of Chrono Cross. See you guys next time for the finale. See us.